a brush this size, you need to get one because there is nothing easier than putting this into your compact. Bam, 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 bam. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Misa, and I'm crazy about helping you enhance your complexion routine for all of those with dry skin. Don't forget to like this video and do not forget to subscribe. Today we are going over my favorite powder brushes. I know a lot of you have been waiting for more brush videos. It's been crazy over here. It's been crazy. I finally washed all my brushes last night, which means I have a lot of clean brushes to share with you today. So if you're in the market and you're looking for brushes that are going to be amazing for loose powder, pressed powder, as well as powder foundations, this is the video for you. Let's go ahead and get started. I'll have all these brushes linked down below. There are some that I'm just like, do they even make this anymore? I will try my very hardest to find it, something very similar and in the same brand. So let's go ahead and get started. The first brushes I wanna talk about are the smaller brushes. Now, I like I look for something very specific for my under eye powder brush, very specific. I like that if it's dome shaped and something that just fits ever so easily underneath the eye because I always set my concealer, I don't want it to crease and I wanna take the, the most, the smallest amount of powder and just evenly distribute that. I also use this in between my brows, forehead, down the nose, then also to set the concealer that I use on my eyelid because I like to use concealer for my, you know, eye makeup base. And so I have three of these. The first one is this Real Techniques Contour Brush. It's just the perfect little brush and it was really made to contour, and you could definitely use that to contour, but it has easily become the brush in my collection at for that I use for underneath my eyes. Real Techniques is a stand-up brush brand. I've had this for over five years, and it's still, it's still going strong. And the reason for that is because they use all metal. There's no ferrum, ferrum, or whatever it's called. It's just all one linear piece. And so because of that, it makes it so strong when it's washed, there's no wood that's, I can see, that's really being expanded and then shrinking. It's great. But the pricing of this is absolutely amazing. It's under $10 and it's one of those most perfect uh, brushes. I just like to take literally just a little bit of pressed powder. Boop, 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 boop. Amazing. And that kind of goes with the same as this one. This was a duo fiber contour brush as well. What do you know? These contour brushes. You could use this for contour, you really could. And what's nice about this, it applies ever so lightly because the base is where you're getting more of the thickness and then up here they used a different kind of synthetic hair that's not as condensed, which is going to add a very lightweight powder. Absolutely beautiful, same packaging, all metal, beautiful, perfectly, just perfect to space that out. So like I said, I'll have something linked very similar that they have for those. Another option is the Morphe Times Jaclyn Hill brush. The super cute packaging, super cute. I will say with my Morphe brushes, they do not last near as long as any of my other brushes. I throw some away every year because this of course detaches from the base. You could just glue it back on, but paint starts chipping. So that's one of the only caveats, but this has just been such a good little, such a good little, powder brush, so that's the other one. Now we are getting into more dense powder brushes. So I had someone recently comment on one of my foundation brush videos, what is the best brush for powder foundation? I of course don't use powder foundation just because of my dry skin. That doesn't mean I don't want to try one one day and I still, I'm going to, I'm going to try one. But these I imagine, because I use these for powders all the time, are just amazing brushes for powder foundation, pressed powders that you just wanna maybe add a little bit more coverage. And the first one is the Morphe E34. So when you're looking for something, you want something that's a little more dense. This is a synthetic brush, a little more dome shaped, and it is going to apply your powder not too thick, but not too heavy. It's right in the middle. You're not, this isn't gonna apply a light layer, but it's perfect because you are covering a lot more space than if you're going in with something smaller and you're giving yourself enough coverage but not too much coverage. Ooh, so on Morphe, this one's on sale right now for $7.20. That is a steal. The next one is this It Cosmetics Brilliant Powder Brush. It Cosmetics, 
really make such a beautiful brush something that's going to last you a really long time just kind of like real techniques they are a bit more pricey i use this all the time as well like i said they do cost a little bit more but remember ulta has sales it cosmetics they do have sales every once in a while so follow me sign up for my email list so i can let you know when those kind of sales happen the last section of powder brushes we're going to talk about is the all over setting powder brush Let's start with the newest one to my collection. This is the Light Layer Powder Brush from Real Techniques. This was designed exclusively to deliver just a very light finish and to blend perfectly and seamlessly. They do say that you can use this for bronzer as well. I personally just to like to use it for loose powder. I will use this with, gosh, I have an Hourglass Veil Translucent Powder. You can use it with pressed powder, anything like that. And this is supposed to deliver, oh, it's so soft, you guys the lightest layer let's say you're using a matte foundation or a natural foundation you really don't need to set it down but you do for the for your blendability reasons you want to go in with that this would be perfect it would just be great even if you went in even if you, you're using like a tinted cc cream or bb cream oh this is just such a great option the price is unreal it's eight dollars and 99 cents the packaging i mean the color of this is beautiful. The synthetic brush hairs are just beautiful and it would just be a great addition to your collection. Now, one of my biggest splurges ever on a brush was this It Cosmetics, some kind of all over powder brush. I waited till they were doing a sale and I got this for like $20, but it's a usually a $40 brush and it feels like a $40 brush. This, if you don't have a brush this size, you need to get one because there is nothing easier than putting this into your compact. Bam, bam. Bam, boom, 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 boom. You're done. You're done. Your, your foundation is set. You're now ready to go in with your bronzer. It's absolutely phenomenal. Some other more affordable options are going to be Morphe. So Morphe has this E41. It's a beautiful brush. It's not as luxurious as the other ones. These are still probably gonna, you're still probably gonna see them a little bit higher in price because obviously it's going to take them, they're using more hair, they're using, it's just more product, right? And then the last one I have is the Morphe Times Jaclyn Hill JH01, which is also one of my favorites. Same idea right here. Look at that. And I love the white handle. The bristles are just amazing. Hopefully this one is at Ulta. If anyway, I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments down below. I will have all these brushes linked down below as well as on my like to know it app for future reference. I hope to, I'm really trying to expand out of Morphe and to use some brushes that maybe we don't know a lot about. I wanna try out more Sigma. I wanna try out the Spore Light. I just wanna really try out a lot more brushes. So. If you have any recommendations, let me know. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next one. Bye.